Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to intro this vlog. I've started a new fitness goal. So what I've decided to do is I wanna enter a lean muscle building phase. But what I'm gonna be doing for that is essentially paying a lot of attention to my nutrition, making sure that I get enough protein, carbs, and fats every single day. The only way that I wouldn't be doing well on my nutrition right now is maybe I'm just not eating enough to be able to feel really strong in the gym. The reason why I came up with this new goal in the gym was because I was in the gym, I was lifting my normal workouts and like day after day after day, I just felt so so weak in the gym and I didn't feel like myself so I was like you know what I need to like put on lean muscle I need to feel strong I need to feel empowered again but with that I think a lot of people when I announced it on my Instagram they thought that I was gonna go into this like major bulk of like adding all this body fat and that's not at all what I'm here to do I actually I really like the shape that I have I don't really want to add too much muscle but with that it's so hard naturally for women to add muscle you guys if I work really really, really hard I might be able to add like a pound of muscle maybe by like a very long time and even with that it wouldn't be too visible to the naked eye so with one pound of actual muscle I really don't need to gain much weight and honestly the way that I'm going to kind of decide how I'm doing is honestly just how I'm feeling as long as I feel strong I feel good I like the way that I look that that's all I want and at that point I'll just maintain so I'm not here to add a ton of weight add a bunch of fat for no reason like that's not what I'm here to do I'm here to just feel really good and strong and empowered in the gym again while liking how I look and right now I love how I look I'm very happy with that I just I want to develop the lean muscle that's already there and I if anything want to look a little bit more full and I think I would look a little more full with a little bit more food so that's the plan for right now we're gonna go train glutes and hamstrings I'm gonna let you guys in on my work day as well because it's a really jam-packed work day and I know you guys like to see kind of like a day in the life like what do I actually do some people it looks like youtubers don't do anything when in reality this is like the most insane day and it's pretty much every day of my life <laughs> so that's it for today I'll see you guys at the gym and can we just take a moment for this new off elite set this outfleet set drops on the date on the screen and this is a size small in the top and a size small in the bottom as well absolutely love this so you guys definitely have to get it if you see this before it launches <laughs> sets of eight reps so we're trying to go up in weight so this is my next set we have a 45 25 and a 10 on each side <laughs> we're having to double triple layer this because it's like the bar hurts so bad we can definitely go way heavier <laughs> <laughs> the next exercise that we're doing is a lying hamstring curl. So we are alternating between doing glute exercises and hamstrings. So lying hamstring curl, the goal is to do working sets of eight. So for this first set, we did a decent amount of weight, but we ended up doing 10 because eight would have been like quitting too soon. So we know we need to add weight and do less reps so we can do a good set of eight without holding back. to 90 pounds, stopped at eight, could have done a little bit more. It's really hard doing a exercise of eight reps, especially when you're used to doing like, you know, 15, maybe 12 or even 20, because now you have to like get into the mindset of heavier lifting. So when you're going back into heavy lifting and transitioning, you have to know to stop. So like I could probably go to 15 and I'm like, I need to stop because my goal is to lift heavier. So I want to go up in weight. So it's really hard to have that self-control of like, I know I can do more, but I need to like hold out for the bigger weight. So that's what I'm doing now. So we're going to go up to 110 for this one. That 
was such a good set of eight. <laughs> but the last one was hard, but I could probably do a little bit more, and it'd be really, really hard by the eighth rep, but that was so good. So last set, we're doing a drop set. We started her at 120. She did as many as she could with good form. Dropped her down to 90, as many as she could with good form, down to 60. So when you do a drop set, you really want to drop the weight so you can really hammer out some new reps. Sometimes if you don't drop enough, you're not being able to get those extra forced reps. So drop enough weight so you can go higher in reps. <laughs> So banded squats, try and use your glutes all the way from the end, like you feel it all the way at the down part of the contraction, all the way up. The biggest thing with this is I want to be doing working sets of eight, and I have not figured out my weight for this one yet. First one I did 16, because I blacked out, and I was like 16, 17, I was like, what are we doing? I'm supposed to be doing eight reps. Mm -hmm. Second time I did like 13, I think I've just been going down and down, so it's okay. It takes some experimenting whenever you're first getting back into heavy lifting. I'm gonna do 130 for this set. Try to go, I'll probably do 10 honestly, but we'll see. It's important when you're doing this exercise to make sure that when you put the weight back up, you turn around first, make sure that your leg and your knee are like in a line, and then you put the weight back so you don't hurt yourself. Same thing when you put it out. leg press. Lexi is a beast at this. She's killing it. She's helping me get through it. I legit stood up and blacked out after my last set. <laughs> so the way she does it, she has legs nice and wide so that she can open up on the either side of her body. Knees and toes pointed out and then she explodes on the way up. Make sure that you get up really slowly because I full on blacked out my second set. <laughs> and you just, you just be like for a few seconds, make sure you're okay. Back home and I had on my agenda to film part of my meeting with my assistant Becca. She's absolutely incredible. We've been working together for a little while now and I just straight up did not film it. If you guys wanna see a little bit of my schedule for today, so I have everything here on Google Calendar. So I have to film, you know, blog intro at gym, train glutes and hamstrings, shower and get cute. Was supposed to already happen, did not happen. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. And then I have to film two YouTube videos. I need to make sure I eat. In between filming and eating, I have like actual like computer work that I need to be doing. I have to upload all my footage to my Google Drive, submit the outline to my editors, choose and announce the winner of the Find Your Lifestyle Challenge, and then record a podcast if not dead. That is what today is looking like. I got a post to Instagram. I have a really good Transformation Tuesday picture to post, and I'm really excited to share that with you all. And maybe I'll talk about that later, but for now I need to kind of get dressed and ready and like whoosh, get going with the day. My next meal is chicken, rice, and green beans, thanks to Icon Meals. I spruced it up a little bit by adding fresh avocado, a little bit of cilantro, and I'm currently still looking for the lime that I would like to add. <laughs> I think I have some, I'm not sure, but delicious, nutritious meal. He really it's wants to play fast. Right? Good job. For my next meal, I'm having two slices of toast with I can't believe it's not butter, three full eggs, and two cuties. I have now showered and gotten ready. I'm wearing this cute little set. I believe this is by Fashion Nova. It's like a long skirt and a little cropped t-shirt. So 
gonna wear this i did my hair can we just acknowledge how healthy my hair is it feels so nice right now everyone always asks me like what my secrets are for my hair and honestly you guys i don't do anything crazy i don't do anything special i just know that this is the best i've ever felt this is the healthiest that i've ever felt and i feel like that really just translates to everything hair skin nails i'm pretty good about taking vitamins I just use regular shampoo and conditioner and a dry shampoo in between hair washes so I'm recording a video partnered with FabFitFun. You guys will see that in one of the next videos. And I cannot tell you how freaking excited I am to do this video because I genuinely love the heck out of this box, this company, and all the products. Like, it's probably the best gift ever. If you ever want to give a really, really good gift for a girl, give her a FabFitFun box. It doesn't matter what season it's in. I'll tell you guys about it in the video, but I'm like, ah, oh, so excited because it's literally about to be Christmas right now. Are you tired from morning sprints? Say I sprinted so much with mommy. Quick vlog update. So I filmed the FabFitFun unboxing, which you guys are gonna have to wait and see. That was such a fun video. I freaking love them. So day is going well, a little bit behind schedule. I kind of knew I would be, but that's okay. I'm gonna make up for it in the next few hours. So back to charging. Going at it with another meal. We have salmon, soft and rice, and green beans. I'll probably eat some cashews on the side, have a protein shake in a little bit, and then some snacks and dessert to finish off the night. Well, good morning for me. It is 7.37 a.m. here in Los Angeles, California. You guys, I'm kicking myself right now because I woke up, I was looking at the Bible app on my phone. I was like, okay, I'm gonna read a quick little like devotional thing, get my mind right before I start the day. Somehow I finish and I click on Instagram, which I should not have done. So I woke up to comments of people calling me skinny, telling me I was unhealthy, telling me like all these like ridiculous things that really don't bother me. Like the comments about that, talking about my appearance and they think that they know about my health just from looking at a photo. So it doesn't bother me in the sense of like, oh my god, someone thinks I'm skinny. Your opinion is your opinion. I don't care. But it is annoying, right? So like starting my day out with things that are annoying. I'm like, Emily, why did you do this? You're supposed to like do your devotional, read, do your gratitude list, you know, do all these things that like make you feel good and feel peaceful. And now it's not that the comments bother me. It's just annoying. It's like, guys, you don't have all the information. Stop making assumptions. I wish I could like shake truth into people sometimes <laughs> yeah i'm sharing this with you guys because i'm an idiot and i looked at my phone first thing in the morning so do not do that learn from my example make sure you guys do all the things that make you feel good before you start your day and if you screw up it's okay just get right back to it so right now i'm actually at the gym i'm going to meet up with a friend and we're gonna train we're supposed to do like a full body hit workout we're gonna see how that goes because i am incredibly sore which is awesome my new training program is going so well but we're gonna see what i'm able to do i want to really focus on being functional i want to do some dynamic style like training maybe some full body stuff for sure but i don't really want to do heavy lifting at all today because i'm lifting so heavy on all the other days so this is my one day to do like a full body functional like let's get moving and make sure that i could keep my movement as i work back up to the heavier weights that is it for this video though i love you guys so much i will see you in the next video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down your questions below about my muscle building phase if you guys have anything that you guys want me to touch on in the next video because if you don't tell me i won't know and i probably won't touch on it <laughs> i love you guys so much have a great day and i'll see you next time bye